Ladies, gentlemen, let's go ahead. Write four sentences what? on what you can see above the picture. In the picture above. Write four sentences of what you can see in the picture above. What do you say? Basketball. Basketball. Like I see a kid and a boy shooting a basketball. Uh, a basketball player. Yeah. Basketball. Gosh, basketball. a lot of people's name is Eric in here. Yeah. 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 Well, let's do finish number one. There you go. All right. What do you see, Stephanie? Um, person's face. Person's face. <laughs> How many people do you think are in the picture, Brandon? How many people? Yeah. Just two people. Just two? Okay. And we're pretty, everybody kind of agrees that they're playing basketball? Yeah, they're easy. I thought that thing was paper. Paper clip. I can't see it all. It's kind of hard to see. Really. Well, some people might think it's hard to see, some people might not. What this really deals with is how people discovered the atom. Um, there was mention of atoms a long, long time ago, and they didn't have microscopes and all the good stuff that we have today, computers. Um, but they still were able to figure out what was going on with atoms. And so that's what we're going to be looking at today. And so the objective for the day is determining what is the history of an atom, that's what I guess is the title for it. Anybody have any questions about the warm up? Where we're going today? Okay. All right, oh, lecture. Mr. Gray, I want to go right first. Come on, come on, I've got to stay on the game. Yeah, I'm a slow writer. All right, lecture for today. In 4 BC, uh, the Greek philosophers, democracy, said that the universe was made of indivisible units called atoms. What was his name? Democritus. I'm sorry, Democritus. Okay. So he said that it was made of individual particles, and he called them atoms. Ugh. And the thing that I think is awesome about this was, man, they didn't have electricity back then, or anything like that. So how did he figure this out? By being smart. By being smart. And so you guys, we're going to do a mini lab later on, but we're going to be smart to figure out things without... Oh, really? Yes. Yay. Oh. I don't have any much common sense. Oh, you have a lot of common sense. I have common sense, not just personal. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. And really, since, they had, since he had no proof, some people believed him, some people didn't believe him. Because when you don't have proof, even when you do have proof, some people still don't believe you. Um, and it wasn't until 1808 that an English school teacher, gay school teachers, um, named John Dalton proposed the atomic theory. And this is the father of modern science. So still back in 1808, there's not a lot of science uh, technology going on. Anybody know what kind of technology you think was back there? Did they have cars in 1808? Yes. No. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Horse and buggies. Horse and buggies. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to see an atom when you, when you have to do things by hand. And that time they had to go to like the first oh. calculator. But you know the little beads and all that? The abacus? The abacus. I'm sure they had those. Anyway, the atomic theory, here goes three parts of the atomic theory. And some of these are still true and some of them aren't true. You guys know a little bit about this. So this is what the atomic theory. Mm -hmm. These three things are the atomic theory. Um, atoms cannot be divided. Can atoms be divided? Yes. 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 Nuclearly. And nuclearly, because we know about the atom bomb. Do we also know what parts of the atom we talked about yesterday? Yeah. Electrons, protons, neutrons. Electrons, protons, neutrons. And those are definitely three parts of an atom, so. Wasn't too great with number one, but it gave us a start. Second, he said that all atoms of a given element are alike. That's not, That's not always true either. Because cool. there's something called isotopes, and we'll get into that a little bit more tomorrow. Oh. And actually, that's a good experiment. What? Isotopes. isotopes. An 
And then thirdly, he says that different elements can join together to form compounds. That is true. Come on, why don't you put that back? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get, get together here. Pick us some more information. This is stuff that we knew from yesterday. We talked about protons, neutrons, and electrons, and we said that there's a charge for the protons that's positive. Boy name. Okay. Neutrons have a zero charge and electrons have a negative charge. Um, because atoms are so small, they came up with this term called AMUs. And AMUs is atomic mass unit. They couldn't measure it in grams, they couldn't measure it in pounds, of course. So they came up with this other unit to measure the size of a proton. And lastly, it talks about where they're located at. your books to page 29. We're going to talk about a mini lab today, but we're going to, yay. Oh, uh, for those people that didn't bring those books, boo. Because I thought we weren't going to need it. That's why we should read 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 it. Anyway, um, I, so, I will answer the question. <laughs> okay. All right. 